Hey guys. All right, so we're gonna be doing a gigantic mail unboxing, dude. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. And look at all that stuff. That stuff over there. That's like four foot high, just a mail. But dude, this is crazy. And just so you know, my lazy buns has still not glued that stuff to the wall. Mainly because I can't find a hot glue gun, but I'm going to have to go buy one. But anyways, guys, I just want to let y'all know I got a lot of mail. It's really going to be hard to open them all on camera, but I promise you 100%. All these letters, I read every single one of them, top to bottom, and sometimes even front and back. But there's so much mail that I can't read every letter on camera, which is a bad thing, but it's a good thing because this should make mail time very exciting. So first thing, I got this deer hunter sign. This came in an Amazon box and it didn't have a person on it. I mean, it didn't have a name on it because it came straight through Amazon. So here's this. I'll put this up on the wall whenever I become unlazy and glue it up there. So now I'm going to open this long one and it says Fisherman's Lane. And this one said Deer Hunter Drive. Now these are sort of the same sign so now i'm sort of wondering is these the same person are these the same person that sent this is it mystery man that sent these i don't know but both these are gonna go up one on top of the other like i said whenever i get unlazy enough to buy some hot glue now here we got one from robert and luke marcus here we go gonna open this up there we go, got a nice squirrel tail. Definitely going to use that. And he also sent me some nice bass fishing worms. I'll definitely put those to use sometime whenever I'm pond hopping. And he sent me some of these nice trail cam, trail cam pictures of some of the nice buck he has on his property. Here we go from Hayden Enberg. I believe that's what you're, how you say your name. He drew this picture of me. There's me, my GoPro, my 870. There's Lucky, a scared squirrel, an unlucky coon, and there's Bucky. This in here is from Gray Tyree. I will say this is the heaviest envelope I've ever held in my held in my life. Let's see what it is. And oh, I got a knife in the mail and a little spinner. And this here is a Swiss Army knife. And you know what this thing? This thing, it's retired. This is my new mail time opening knife right here. Here we go. Already putting that knife to use. Coming from Chancellor, I got some full body, full printed pictures right here. There's a buck he shot with his bow. And then here, on the back of it, it says a wolf, 250 pounds. But I mean, if you ask me, it looks like that wolf is still alive. Uh-oh, here we got one from Eli Gill. Whoa! Here we got two sick full page pictures by Jacob Deal. Now we're gonna move on to some letters. Straight on to this first box. It is from a no-namer. Uh-oh, I see fur. That's what we like to see. Oh, dang. Oh, I see some awesome looking stuff in here. This here is a fox squirrel, I believe. Yep, this right here is a full body fox squirrel. Look how giant that tail is. That is awesome. And he also sent me one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair of safety glasses, especially because I've been doing a few shooting videos lately. He also sent me a full bag of some hearing protection, crappie magic crankbait, and two rueful dog treats. And that was from Brett. So why not move on to another box? This one here coming from Kendall Gray. You know what? I read that wrong. This one here coming from William J. Smith. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just done that. This is a full squirrel. It's not even skinned, it's just a full squirrel. That honestly scared me, guys. That is not a skin squirrel. This is a full body squirrel. Now, actually, it may be skinned. I don't know, guys. This is this is a full squirrel. That is not even... That's a squirrel. There's just nothing about it. And I'm just going to hang it right here. Or up here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... You can see it a little bit. It'll be hanging right there. Now, that right there, that got my heart pumping. This here, this is a folder, guys. 
from Pennsylvania Outdoors. Kendall Gray YouTube, a folder. Oh man, oh man. He knows what I like. First thing I see, the bag from Gary Yamamoto, the bag. This is the first bag I have. I told y'all in the last video, send me some empty bags, sign them a little bit, and I'll glue, up on, glue them up on that wall, which I don't have hot glue yet, but they will be up on that wall. A squirrel tail, no, two squirrel tails, maybe three, and then a treat for Lucky. You know whenever I said this knife was one of the heaviest letters I'd ever seen? Well, this one very well may match it. Oh, here we go. We got a big fox squirrel tail. I always know fox squirrel because it's gigantic and got a little bit of that red in it. And right off the bat, we got another pack. But this one actually still has some bait in it. This one doesn't have a name on it either, but oh, we may just find it right here. Uh, Jake and Caden. Here we go. Full. How does people even do that? That is, that is, oh my gosh. Here we go, baby. Another culprit this time. That was my plan. Have all kinds of different brands, all kinds of different sizes. This one coming from Reed. That way we can have a giant, diverse wall of plastics. Here we go from Evan Weber. He sent me a $2 bill and this shrimp-like soft plastic. Let's see if it'll stand up. Nope, but that's good enough for me. Here we go, a very soft package this time. Who's it from? Eva Madsen. She sent me another package. Here we got an American flag. It says, for the art wall, I'm lazy guys, but this will go up there. A little cross keychain. But it looks like a 223, some kind of rock, a Kentucky quarter, and a wheat penny keychain. Now, that will also go on my keychain. Don't know how much school will think about that, but I guess school will just have to deal with it because that's going on my keys. Oh, here we go. I really like it whenever there's a little rip in these envelopes. Just enough for me to grab it and go whoop. This one coming from Hunter Sloan. Uh oh, uh oh. I honestly thought he sent me a bloody arrow, but this is actually just an arrow pin, which is stinking awesome. Whoa, how did he do that? A big old coon tail. This is a coon tail. Forget the squirrels. We're going straight to coons. A Lake Lunkers custom bake. <laughs> this thing, this is a tank, guys. Coming in from Joe Edge. Now this thing weighs about a thousand pounds. They've wrapped it up. They've wrapped it up with approximately 72 yards of tape because it's about to explode. Here we go. Open it up. First thing I see is a helicopter. So now that I'm reading their letters, it says it's from Jackson and Evan. And on the back it says the coon is for all the coons you get. So I'm expecting there may be a coon in here. But we're gonna open it up nice and slowly and look at all the stuff that is in here. Here we got some Berkeley Trilene eight pound test. I will definitely 100% be using that. Got some Fun Dip, some Berkeley Gulp, buy one get one free Whopper coupon. And here we go with, I guess what you'd call the coon. But, oh man, he's got a hoodie. He's got a, he's got a hoodie. This coon's got a hoodie. Says Wisconsin. Guys, I'm from Kentucky. I don't really like Wisconsin, but I do like this coon. Really, the only good thing I had to say about Wisconsin is I think that we beat them before. Now, we got two tennis balls. They said those were for Lucky. We got all kinds of worms in here. These look like the worms that's already rigged with hooks in them. I have this flashlight to go on my keychain. I buy one, get one free any breakfast sandwich, a nice looking Hot Wheel, a Mossy Oak drink holder, a pack of gum, and two quarters. Make that three quarters. From Tom Barakas, and, oh man, oh, 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 this guy's hooked me up for training Lucky, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squirrel tails. This guy has set me up.
Tom, you have set me up. I got this crawdad bait. Those are super expensive. I'm not sure. I'm going to make a guess. It's savage. I got some more soft plastics. Swim jigs. And I got three of them. So, yeah, man. Look at those things. Good bright orange and yellow. The perfect imitation of bluegill. Xander Cohen. Here we go. And here's a squirrel. What is this? A beanie baby? I think that's what they're called. But still, it's a squirrel. So got a power bait. Berkeley power bait to go on the wall. From Josh Charlton. Let's see what we got. We have a package inside of a package. Alright, so he sent me a 20 gauge shell and he said that he has the exact same Rossi that I did. And this is a shell that came from that gun. He also sent some more treats for Luggy. A $5 bill. That will go into keeping this channel up and running. He said, he said that's for whatever I want. But to please spend it wisely. I mean, if you think that burning through 22 ammo at over 600 rounds a minute is wisely, then you're in luck. Then here we go from Emily Fitzwater. We got a giant package. Another squirrel. <laughs> this is squeaks. <laughs> this is from Dan, Tina, Reed, and Emily. And guess what is in the bag? A giant thing of Starburst. Jelly beans! Starburst jelly beans. Not just Starburst, not so, just jelly beans, but Starburst jelly beans. Now for the big old box. Here we go. It says open in a video. That's exactly what I'm going to do. This is coming from Ryan Gret. Let's see what it is. We got a lot of bubble wrap. And then we got a package. And then we got another package. And then we got some broadheads, baby. We got some muzzy broadheads. He taped a picture of his Instagram picture. If you tag me on a picture on Instagram, I will go through and like them. That's actually my profile picture on YouTube right now. And he up there, YouTube. And then on this gigantic piece of paper, he drew the Kawasaki Mule, the Trapping Shack on wheels. Now for the fur. Bringing it out right now. Now let's see what kind of animal this is. This is this has been tanned, fleshed, and everything. Oh, oh, that good leather feeling. And I know for a fact that all you guys, you guys are true fans, because who else is going to watch this deep into a fan mail unboxing video except for the true fans? So shout out to you guys, and I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later.